Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you obviously can see, we are going a little bit darker, vampire, sexy, red, 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 red nails, red, 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 you know. As you can tell, I created this smoky eye look and I'm feeling a feel. I am really liking it. I am really glad with the way it turned out and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's start. Hello. As you probably can tell, I already have my brows on because this took me forever and I am still not so happy with it, but just making it work. So for my brows, I am testing out some new products and to be absolutely honest with you, I don't think I have picked out the right shades, but just making it work. Um, I used the MAC Dirty Blonde Brow Gel Cream and I use it in combination with um, the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Spite. This is a little bit too dark, this is a little bit too warm toned for me, but we're here, we're just gonna keep moving. Then I carved out my brows with some foundation, as you probably can tell, because it was necessary and I primed my eyelids with the MAC Painterly Paint Paw and already put some concealer underneath my eyes because I'm planning to do a smoky eye and then I like to already have like a little bit of something on my face around the eye area so that I can see where this look good. So yeah, let's just start because as you can see if you clicked on this video you probably can tell that I am doing a red tones, red ha, red roses, red nails, red, red, red today, uh, red smoky eye using the Pat McGrath bronze seduction palette because oh, loving this shade in here so we're just gonna be using this palette today and let's get started. I am going to take, wait no, I am going to zoom you in first. Hello there. So I am going to start off with the light brown shade in this palette and I am going to use this as a transitional color in my crease. As you can see I am taking, well you can't see it, it's out of frame, but I am taking my brush all the way at the end because like this way you don't apply too much pressure and you can just give it a soft nice blend. I am taking this transition color in all the way because it's a smoky eye and I know if I don't do that it just won't be smoky enough. <laughs> so yeah, right now we are just going to keep applying this color until, yeah, until I'm happy with it. <laughs> just as simple as that. I always step off the axis and then I just gonna start working it into a V shape and actually I'm also already going just gonna tap the creasing out underneath my eye and already start blending some of this shape underneath so that I can have like a nice guideline of how far out I want to take the eyeshadow. brush is dirty but it has the color on it that I am about to use so is it really that big of a problem okay the brush that I used before this I was a the Sigma E40 tapered blender blending brush and this is the Morphe M456 which I am going to use to dip into this darker brown shade and basically do the exact same thing, only a little bit more in detail and a little bit lower than the placement of the color that we used before this. Just going to pick up some of that dark brown, set off the excess and just start slowly doing the same thing, just a little bit more detail. So 
the outer edge and bring it into the crease but just keep, um, keeping it a little bit lower so that we have that nice transition of darker to lightest. Whilst placing down this color, I switch between this brush and the brush that we used for that transitional shade so that I can give it a nice blend in between steps and make sure that the placement is correct and it has just, you know, a nice blend and transition into each other so it looks plus. So that's what I am going to do now. Just keep building that color on the outer part of my eye, even a little bit into the crease, a little bit on this outer part and underneath my eye and just keep applying some color, blending color, applying color, blending color. And yeah, that's basically it. The process is not that difficult, it's just a lot of work and a lot of patience to not wanting to place down a lot of color initially because it's easier if you just work in light layers and keep blending, so yeah, not that difficult, just time consuming, <laughs> that's all. Now I am going to go in with this really beautiful plum dark shade and basically again do the same but keeping it a little bit more concentrated on the outer part, bring it in just a little little bit and keep blending. I am going to apply it with a little pencil brush from Sigma, this is the E30. As you can see, I am using very, very light strokes. I am barely even touching my eyelid, just to make sure that I don't apply too much pressure and that I give it just that nice and feathery look. Oh, I am also going to use this Morphe M506, which is a super small detailed blending brush. I am going to take a little bit of that purple also on that brush and just buff out the edges where we placed that darker shade. And basically now just keep on doing the same thing, taking it a little bit into the crease, just a little at a time because this is the darkest shade, so you can always apply more, but taking some away is not so easy. <laughs> and the same thing then, to blend this out even more, I am going to take that brush that we used for the dark brown and just also go around the edges to help it blend into the dark brown shade. And now we are going to repeat the steps constantly until we are happy with the look. So also taking some underneath, pulling it up a little bit. Now that my eyes are delicious and dark, I am going to apply some Marc Jacobs Brownie Eyeliner uh, in my waterline. Oh, this sucks if you have contacts in, so be careful. Oh. 
I am going to start off with brown also underneath but it could be that I switch it up to a nice black. I am also going to smudge a little bit of the brown eyeliner underneath. Just going to wipe off the excess purple. Just going to take that little pencil brush and buff out a little bit of that brown pencil. I am just going to take this delicious red shade on my fingertips. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? One thing that I also want to point out, like look how dark I went with my eyeshadow and almost well. Yep, yeah, practically zero fallout, which is amazing. So now I'm going to apply some delicious red with my finger. I just press and pull a little bit to get a lot of pigment off. And I don't really want this to be a super neat smoky eye. I want it to be like a little bit messy, a little bit grungy, a little bit worn in. So it's not that I am being too precise with the placement of this red because I feel like it will blend in beautifully with all the other shades, so... Okay, now I am taking that, oh no, this blending brush that had the purple on it and just very lightly grazing those edges. Okay, before I am going to apply some extra glitter because I love sparkles. I am going to take that dark plum shade and just very closely press it against my lash line so that we have a little bit of a guideline to apply our false lashes. So that's what I am going to do now. I am probably not even going, oh shit, we'll have it on. <laughs> okay, the liner I am probably not gonna show on camera because I'll probably be like somewhere down here, out of frame, trying to do this as thin as I can. So be right back with you guys. As you can see, I applied a very thin, thin line, barely noticeable, but it is there as a guideline for our lashes later on. But right now, it's time for the sparkles. I am just going to dip in into this rose, into this rose gold sparkly shade. I am going to take some on my brush and wet it because I don't really want full like closed opacity glitter I just want a little sparkle on the um, inner part of the eye so that's what I'm about to do right now that's why I do my eyes first because these do tend to fall down a little bit so I am taking some on the brush and just applying it into the inner corner and pulling it up like maybe a third from the eye, the inner third. But really not that much, just so it does open up the look a little bit. And on another brush, this is actually, actually the same brush, just another one. And I am going to apply also a little bit of red on the lower lash line but not that much, just so you can really see it. And back in with the sparkles. And there's a, oh, there's a glitter on my contact. Scheiße. I'm going to take this light shade and just highlight my brow bone with it ever so slightly, not too much, just a little hint of something so and this is where I'm at with the eyes at the moment I'm going to wait to apply lashes and mascara to see if my face is done if I still want to deepen up some parts of the eyes I probably won't but just you never know I am going to take a, a little cotton pad and some makeup remover this is just to be sure, I don't really have that much fallout, but just to make sure that it's all gone. 
I'm just going to wipe underneath here. The only problem is like these glitters are gorgeous, but you do have some fallout. So there is going to be a little bit glitter on your face. That's a little bit harder to get rid of, but you know what? I can live with that. As for usual, I am going to start priming my face with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Since it's becoming winter time, my skin has gotten a lot drier. So now I definitely need this primer to make sure that my foundation doesn't look too dry on my face because I am going to use a little bit more of a matte and full coverage foundation. Okay, next up, a powder you've seen me do a million times. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so my face is done. I am just going to spritz a little bit of all-nighter setting spray because I always do this before I put my lashes on, set my brows in place and apply mascara because I'm like, why would I apply something wet onto something gel-like that has to stay, like hold something put? Why would I put something wet on that? It does not make sense in my head, so I am going to do that first. The lashes I am going to be adding are the Lily Lashes in Doha. I am just going to apply some, of course, a Lash Paradise Mascara and apply those lashes. And again, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so now I have applied everything. I am not going to deepen up my eyes even more because I think it is smoky enough. The only thing left to do is apply some lip stick, so I am going to apply the MAC Roll Lip Liner and the Powder Kiss Lipstick in Influentiality, in, in Influentiality, something like that. So I'm first going to line my lips. So this is my finished look. My hair is going crazy, but that's okay. I really, really hope you enjoyed this look. It's a little bit more dramatic than my other looks, but I really like it. I love this palette, so I wanted to show another look with it. I hope you enjoy these kind of tutorials, and if you do, please let me know, and I'll film some more dramatic eye looks because Personally, I love them and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell. Leave a comment with a request or anything like that and I'll see you hopefully in my next video. Bye!